question is, what do we do? Because they tell us nobody's perfect. The question I get is, does the modern day black man, does he even want to be perfect? Or does he want to be a slave? Does he think that this land is going to last forever? It is not. My sister, did you know that God said we have to be perfect? Do you think that the black man and black woman can do that today? Can we be perfect? Can we be perfect? Let's get that. Let's get that in Matthew. Yep. We're going to show them that Christ, this is the commandment. We must be perfect. My brother, you know the Bible said we must be perfect. So how do we do it? What do we need to do? The book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 48. Uh -huh. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father, which is in heaven, is perfect. So Christ lived a perfect life. He said be perfect. My brothers, Jesus Christ just said be perfect, because your Father in heaven is perfect. So how do we do it? What do we have to do to be perfect? What do we need to do to be perfect like Christ commanded us to do? Read that. The book of Psalms, chapter 19, verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. So if we want to be wise, if we want to get out of our simple way of thinking, we got to apply the laws of God That's right. because they are perfect. Right. The Sabbath day is perfect. That's right. No buying and no selling is perfect. Look at our communities. Look at where we live. When we affect the change the most in this country is when we refuse to spend our money with that white man. Yeah. You know what we believe in? White man. Yeah, you know we believe in the white man. We believe he got all the answers. He has all the knowledge, and we said, ain't nobody perfect but Jesus. We believe it, but what does the Bible say? Read that again. The book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 48. So we're going to read what Jesus Christ said we must be. And if it came out of his mouth, it is a commandment. Read. Be ye therefore perfect, the Bible said. Jesus Christ said, be ye therefore perfect. Read. Hold on. Hold on. My brother. Hey, bro. I want you to listen to this. This is Jesus Christ talking. Read. Be ye therefore perfect, be. even as your Father, which is in heaven, is perfect. Uh, now, you said you believe in the Bible. You believe in Jesus. Jesus just said, be ye therefore perfect as your Father in heaven is perfect. So your next question should be, well, how do I do that? How do I do that? That's my question to you, my brother. How do we become perfect? Read. Psalms chapter 19, verse 7. Read. The law of the Lord is perfect, uh -huh. converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure. Making wise the simple. So that's how our simple behinds become perfect. Right. We apply God's laws. Simple. We love our, get to Leviticus 19 and 17. Let's give you a law that we can apply in our neighborhood that will make us perfect. That will be, that will put us on that road to being perfect as we've been commanded to do. Because we don't have a choice. Right. God didn't say be perfect or if you don't want. It is a commandment. That's be right. perfect because God is perfect. Read. Leviticus chapter 19 verse 17. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. So we can't hate our brothers in our heart. But the Bible's not talking about don't hate your brother in your chest. What is the Bible talking about when it says your heart? The Bible defines itself. It may or may not be confirmed on some of these books that are out in the world, but the Bible uh, defines itself and no book can stand with it. Read. The book of Mark, chapter seven, verse 21. Uh -huh. For from within, out of the heart of men, 
perceive evil thoughts. The Bible is telling you that out of your mind, That's your right. mind is your heart according up. to the word of God. Right. And what do we get from our mind? Because you know what the black man and especially the black woman love to say? God know my heart. God know my heart. My sister. <laughs> So they say God knows your heart, but let's show you what God knows about your heart. Read. I'm going to start with that. We're going to get both of them. That's right. We're going to beat them over the head with both of them so that we can change the condition of our people's wicked heart. That's why we're out here. We want to help you fix your heart. Read. The book of Jeremiah. We'll start with Mark. The book of Mark, chapter 7, verse 21. Uh -huh. For from within. Out of the heart of men proceed evil thoughts. Right. Adulteries. Adulteries start in your heart. And the Bible said those are thoughts. So they start in your mind. Right. Adultery. You know what people are doing right now? They getting ready to commit adultery. Mm -hmm. Yep, let me go get my condoms. Let me go oh. get my wraps. Let me go get my blunts. Let me go grab a couple of brews. I'm going to grab some liquor. I need yeah. to hurry up. Because the liquor store about to close. Let me hit that joint. I'm going to get everything I need to commit adultery. You know what? Somebody might be riding around with somebody they go they're committing adultery with right now. Right. Teach. They in the car already. We on our way. I already booked the room. That's right. Read. Fornication. You know what? A lot of these sins we in the Bible, they always start with adultery and fornication. Adultery, you know why? Because that's a play to the black man and woman. We do not, we do not want to honor marriage. That's right. We do not want to honor the men of God. We do not want to honor God's daughters who are precious in his sight. Bring that out. Read. Murders. Murder. Drill music. The ops. That all starts in your mind. That's right. That 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 slight that somebody did to you that really ain't nothing, right. but because you are effeminate. That's right. Effeminate. You know what that means? You can't control your emotions. That's right. right. You know how we know the black man is effeminate because they made a song out of it. I go zero to a hundred real quick. That's right. That's Bring effeminate. That Bring it out. That is not how a man reacts to things. That's right. Read. Bring it out. Thefts. Thefts. I don't like that. You know what? I'm going to wait. I just talked to my brother. When he moved out here, the first thing that happened to him was somebody kicked in his back door and they stole all his stuff. That's what I'm talking about. We don't, we don't want to go to a man, build with that man, and find out how can I do the things you That's did right. to be successful. What can I do? We don't want to gather together like the Bible says. Read. Covetousness. Yep. I'm seeing, I'm tired of looking at him with it. And if I can't have it, I don't want him to have it. Read. Wickedness. Read. Deceit. Lasciviousness. Now see, that's e. Hey, look. That ain't just having sexual thought. That's evil sexual thought. Now you're looking at somebody's baby. Yeah, now you're looking at your grown 40-some-year-old man, and you're looking at, man, little Tanya, surely grown up. Bring it out. You looking at somebody's teenage daughter. Bring it up. You keep riding by the high school. Read. An evil eye. Blasphemy. Pride. Blasphemy and pride. The laws of God come out and then the blood. I'm not doing that. That's I right. don't believe that. That ain't what the Bible say. That's not what the Bible means. Blasphemy, and in your pride, you have to be proud to stand in the face of God's prophets who are reading you the Bible and deny what it says. That's right. Read. Foolishness. It is foolish. It is foolish to have men with the Bible who are here to return to you the knowledge of who you are and what you must do to oh, yeah. not die right. in this place. And it's foolishness to walk by that. Read. All these evil things come from within and defile the man. That's right. They defile you. Our people are defiled with adultery. Right. They are defiled with homosexuality. They are defiled with murder and thefts. You are defiled. Let's get Jeremiah 7. Let's read that. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 9. The heart is deceitful above all things. So that's what the Bible, that's what God knows about your heart. You are deceiving yourself. It is deceitful above all 
all things. Your mind is deceitful above all things. That's right. Because your mind is what's telling you, I'm not going to go over there and find out who I am in that Bible. I'm straight. We talk to people, hey, so you got, I'm good. You're not good. You're a slave. Your right. forefather was a slave. Your right. foremother was a slave. You live in a place where you live in a food desert. Right. You got every nation. You got nations. You ain't never people. Good. People who barely speak English run in the store that you go in. That's right. right. And they don't even want to touch your hand. Just put the money on hey, the counter. Right. They're serving you behind a, a thick piece of plastic. Right. Spinning a damn thing around giving you your change. Coming out from behind the counter and choking you because they think you stole one of their nasty wigs that's made out of hyena hair. Bring it right. out. Because you don't know who you are, so you hate yourself. That's right. You hate your hair. Read it again. The heart is deceitfully above all, excuse me, the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Desperately. The heart is the heart can't wait to be wicked. That's right. Y'all can't get in that store fast enough. Y'all can't get to breaking God's laws fast enough. Right. You are desperately wicked. Desperately. Read. And desperately wicked. Who can know it? So you can't know it. So guess what, black woman? You can't change that man. If he wicked, he just wicked. Right. You can't change. Only God can change him. Right. Only God can do that. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Oh!